Hello! In this video, I will take you through Design Vats Ingredient Tracking Template. Now this template is ideal for restaurants and it enables you to track the total number of ingredients you need for each defined recipe. So you have a section where you can be able to automatically calculate the total ingredients you need on a daily basis based on the orders that you key in. Now in this video, I'm going to be going through all the sections, highlighting the basic functionalities. So on the screen, I've opened up the template and it's powered with Microsoft Excel. So you need to have Excel, a version from 2013, installed on your computer. So once you open up the template, you arrive at a dashboard, and this holds three thumbnails to navigate to the three major sections of the template. We have the product section, where you log your raw materials and your products. We have the production section, where you can be able to tell the template the total number of raw materials you need for each of your recipes. And lastly, we have the report section where you can view automatically generated reports. So from the report section, you can be able to select a particular day and it will automatically tell you the total number of ingredients you need for all the orders that you've logged in for that day. So let's begin. So first we go to the product section. To open up a particular section, you simply click. So notice as I click on the products button, it takes me to that section of the template. So now we're in the raw materials information section. So all sections in this template have an identical formatting. In the upper left hand corner, we have the section title and this tells you at any point in time, the section you're on. So notice it says raw material information. So you know this is where you log all of your raw materials. To the right of this, we have a delete button. Now this is used to delete raw materials that you've already logged to this particular section. Above the button, we have a navigation pane. Now this is used to navigate to all other sections of the template. So for instance, if you want to go to the product section, production section, or any of the various reports. So you simply click on any button on the dashboard and it will automatically navigate to that section of the template. Now below the button here, we have our data table. Now this is where you list all the raw materials that you use in your business. To do that, you simply double click on the first cell below material name and you go ahead and type the material name. Now I'm going to use generic names like material one. Next, you can indicate the unit of measure. Now this is optional, but just for documentation purposes, if you want to track the unit of measure, you can go ahead and lock that also. So I've entered the first material. I simply double clicked, type the name, made use of my tab key to move to the next field to enter the unit of measure. Now to enter another raw material, you simply click on the cell below that, repeat the process, enter the material name, make use of the tab key, and then enter the unit of measure. In this case, uh, let's just make this liters. And we're going to do for the third, and we're going to make this teaspoons. So that's how you automatically add materials to this template. You double click, type the value, press tab, and enter the unit of measure. Now, to delete a particular material, you can do that in two ways. You can do it the manual way in Excel by simply highlighting. So you click, you highlight what you want to delete, and then you make use of the delete key on your keyboard, and you notice that the template has deleted the values there. So that's method one. Method two is that you simply click on the material name, for instance, material three, you notice the border around the cell, indicating that I've clicked on that cell. Then you click on the delete button in the upper right hand corner. Once you do, you get a confirmation message which asks you if you want to delete this material. If you do, you click on yes. If you don't, you click on no. So notice as I click on yes, it will automatically delete the raw material. So I'm going to go ahead and re-enter the raw material. And that's a summary of how this section works. So this is where you list all raw materials that you need or all ingredients that you need for your recipes. The next step is to enter your actual recipes. To do that, you simply navigate to the product section. So you click on products, it takes you to that section of the template. So now your products are your recipes. So you simply enter the recipe name. You notice it has the same formatting, section title in the upper left, recipe information, navigation pane in the upper right, with respective buttons, and then we have the data table where you list your recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and also enter generic names, recipe one, press the enter key to move to the next field, recipe two, enter key, recipe three. So I've automatically added three recipes. Now you've added your raw materials, you've added your recipes. The next thing you need to do is to tell the template how many quantities of each of these raw materials do you need to produce one plate or one product in this particular section. Now to do that, you simply go to the production section. So once you click on production, it takes us to that section of the template. So you notice in the upper left, we have the section title. This tells you this is where you list your daily orders. To the right of this, we have three buttons. 
the get raw material button i'm going to explain what this does shortly the delete order button and the add requirements button above the three buttons we have our navigation pane and below the buttons we have our table where you list your daily orders now before you enter orders you need to tell the template how each recipe is produced to do that you simply go to the add requirements button so recall we clicked on production then we click add requirements. Once you do, it takes you to the requirements section. Now this is where you enter the product requirements. So you tell the template the total raw materials you need for each of your recipes. So for one plate of each recipe. Now the first step is you click on the add or the new product build button. Once you do, it pops up a form and then you supply two values. The first thing you need to do is to tell the template which recipe are you listing the ingredients for? For instance, recipe one, this is a drop down list It's going to list all of the recipes that you've entered in the product section. The next thing you need to tell the template is how many raw materials do you need for this recipe? So for instance, if you need 10 different distinct raw materials, you go ahead and list 10. I'm just going to list two now. So what I'm telling the template is that to be able to produce this recipe, I need two raw materials. So once you click enter, the template is going to insert two rows. So if you indicated three raw materials, it's going to indicate three rows. Four more materials, you're going to get four rows and so on and so forth. So the next thing you need to do to automatically affix recipe one, all you need to do now is to indicate the respective two raw materials. So let's say we need raw material one. You notice this is a drop down list. You can click and then select the material, raw material two. And the last thing you need to do is to tell the template how many quantities of raw materials one do I need to create recipe one. So for instance, if I indicate one here, what I'm telling the template is that to be able to create, to create excuse me, one plate of recipe one, I need one unit of material one. In the same way, if I enter two here, what I'm telling the template is that to be able to create one plate of recipe one, I need two units of material two. So to be able to create one plate of recipe one, I need these two raw materials, and these are the quantities of each raw material that I need. Now, because for most um, food items, it tends to be in decimal places, so we added four decimal places so that you can be able to be very specific in your quantity requirement. So now I've told the template what I need to be able to create recipe one. I need to do the same for recipe two. Now to do that, I simply click on the new product build button, indicate recipe two, and then I tell the template how many raw materials do I need or how many ingredients do I need. So let's assume you need three different ingredients. You click on three and then you select enter. So the template will automatically in insert, excuse me, three rows because I indicated three raw materials. Now what I need to do is to specify the three raw materials. So I'm going to say raw material one, raw material two, and raw material three. So these are the three raw materials that I need to produce one plate of recipe two. Next, I need to tell the template the quantity, the respective quantities I need of each of these raw materials. So let's assume that I need three for the first, I need six for the second, and I need nine for the third. So I'm telling the template that to be able to create one plate of recipe two, I need three units of material one, six units of material two, and nine units of material three. So now I've successfully listed in the template all of my materials, material one, two, three, all of my products, recipe one, two, three, and most importantly, the connection between the two, the total quantities of each that I need for one recipe. So now that you've done all this, you can go ahead and enter your daily orders. Now to enter your daily orders, you simply go to the production section and then you list your daily orders by manually typing it in. So all you need to do is to enter the date. So for instance, let's say yesterday, which is the 16th, Next, you indicate the customer, let's say Rose Random, places an order for recipe one. You notice this is a drop down list, so you don't have to type recipe one. And then you tell the template how many quantities or how many plates of this recipe was ordered by Rose Random. So let's assume that you ordered five plates. So this is one order. Let me add another order. So let's say that on the same day, Rose Random equally placed an order. So I simply double click on the cell, enter the date, customer name. And recipe two, she ordered three plates. So this is the complete order by Rose Random that was made on the 16th of October. So now that this order has been placed in, this template enables you automatically generate the total raw materials you need for each of the line items and for all the line items together. 
So let me explain that. So for instance, for recipe one, you might want to know what is the total ingredients that I would need to be able to create this order. So to do that, all you need to do is to select on the customer name. Notice I've selected on this customer name. What I'm telling the template is I want details for this particular role. Then you simply click on Get Raw Materials. Now, once you click on Get Raw Materials, the template will automatically calculate the total ingredients you need to be able to create five units of recipe one. So step one, you click on the customer name. Step two, you click on Get Raw Materials. So the template will automatically open the summary page telling you the recipe one, the quantity the customer ordered five, the date the order was placed 16th, and this are the raw materials needed. So if you listed 50 raw materials, the 50 raw materials will be listed here with their respective quantities. Now we can confirm this because if we go back to our requirements section, we said we needed one material one, two material two. So what the template will do is going to multiply one material one times five and then two times five. So that's why we have 5 and we have 10. So notice if we go there, that's why we have 5 and we have 10. So the template does that for you automatically. Now, the second thing the template does is you might want to combine everything together. So rather than seeing individually, you might want to see a summary of everything together. So to see individually, let me just repeat that again. You click on the customer name. So for instance, I want to see the summary for the second row. You click on rows random, click on get raw materials to tell you the total raw materials needed for three plates of recipe two. So simply click on rows random, click on get raw materials. So you see recipe two, three. So to be able to cook or produce three quantities of recipe two, these are the respective raw materials you need and these are the respective quantities. Okay, so that's the first thing you can do. You can see the individual breakdown per row. You might want to see a summary of everything together. Now, to do that, you need to go to the daily summary section. Now, what the daily summary does is that it enables you to know the total ingredients you need on a daily basis because we presume that people might place orders prior to the day. So with this, you can be able to know before the start of the day, this is the quantity I need to take from the warehouse and give to the cook or the individual that are producing the orders. Okay, so just to make this a bit more, I'm going to add another order for to same day it's going to be john random this is going to be recipe two and let's assume you order 13 units okay so we have two different orders they're all on the same day but different customers okay now you might want to see a collective summary of everything together to do that you simply go to the daily summary section so once you click on daily summary it opens up the report and all you need to do to be able to use this report is you need to enter the date. So you need to tell the template, for instance, which date do you want to generate a report for? So if you want to generate a report for the 16th, you simply click on refresh and the template will automatically generate the summary for you. So for the 16th of October, we have three recipes that have been ordered. We have from Rose Random, recipe one, five units. This is what you need. For Rose Random, she equally ordered recipe two, three units. This is what you need. And then for the third customer, John Random, at the bottom, we can be able to see if I scroll up a bit. John Random, two recipes, 13 quantities, this is what you need. And then at the bottom, you can see the overall summary. So it's going to automatically sum up together for each raw material. So for you to be able to meet up with this three recipes across two customers, this is the total you need for material one, for material two, and for material three. Okay, so let me just scroll up again so you can see the summary. So in the production section, we listed the orders. So on this day, we have three orders from two customers. If you want to see the requirements per order, you can click on the customer's name, click on Get Raw Materials, and it's going to give you the summary only for that particular line item. So recipe two, 13 units, this is what you need. But if you want to see the cumulative total of all the orders on a particular day, for instance, the 16th of October, you simply go to the daily summary section, you enter the date at the top, click the refresh button, and it will automatically tell you the summary. Firstly, to tell you how many different plates. So we have three different plates, two, recipe two, and then one recipe one, altogether three. The first one was placed by Rose Random. This is what you need to be able to create that order. The second was also by Rose Random. This is what you need to be able to create this order. And the third is by John Random. This is what you need to be able to create this order. Now, if you want to see the sum total of everything together, 
the template was automatically added for you so we have for material one we need 53 material 2 106 material 3 104 this is the total raw material you need to be able to cover your orders for this particular day okay and then the last feature is the template just enables you generate a monthly summary so at the end of the month you can be able to know okay let me see all the orders placed in october and it's going to list it so in october these are the orders i have respective customers and then the quantities that they ordered so that's a summary of how the template works it enables you automatically calculate the total ingredients you would need for each of your recipes and for the entire day giving you a daily summary thanks and do take care